In this video, we're going to just look at a few derivative examples, first of which s of y equals cotangent of arctangent of y. Now, one thing you, that we lose track of when we're learning all these derivative rules, if you can simplify early on, then do so before you take the derivative. For instance, with right angle trig, this actually simplifies down to 1 over y. If you want to see why that is, just make yourself a right triangle. Um, call arctan of y theta. So tangent of theta equals y. Label the sides of your triangle, and you'll see what cotangent of theta needs to be. So remember, this we would just rewrite as y to the negative 1. So s prime of y is negative y to the negative 2, or negative 1 over y squared. Quite a bit easier, right? So always look for simplification first. We won't necessarily have it, but always take a look. You might be able to make your life a little bit easier. M of V. We have a natural log. So for derivative of a natural log, you always start with 1 over whatever you're taking the natural log of. So 1 over sine, sine squared of V plus 1 in the denominator times the derivative with respect to V of what we left alone, the sine squared of V plus 1. So we have 1 over sine squared of v plus 1. Now this derivative will do piece by piece, and the derivative of 1 is 0, so we're not too concerned about that. Always be careful about this one. Remember, sine squared of v is the same thing as sine of v, the quantity squared. This is a chain rule. So that 2 comes out front, so we have 2 sine of v. And the part people usually forget is times the derivative of the inside function, which is sine of v. So times a uh, cosine of v. There's not a whole lot of simplifying we can do on this one, so we're going to go ahead and, and leave it this way. Let's go on to f. So f is going to get a little bit messy here when we go to find g prime of w. Now our outside function is an arctan, our inside function is what we got in here. So arctan, the derivative is 1 over 1 plus whatever you're taking the arctan of. So this is where it looks a little bit messy. ln of w over 1 plus w squared squared. That's the derivative of arctan. Now times the derivative with respect to w of the inside, which is ln of w over 1 plus w squared. This is going to be a quotient rule. So 1 over 1 plus ln of w over 1 plus w squared squared. This part's already done. If we've taken that derivative. Here's what we have left to do using a quotient rule. The quotient rule says it's the denominator 1 plus w squared times the derivative of the numerator, 1 over w, minus the numerator, ln of w, times the derivative of the denominator, which is 2w, all over the denominator squared. 1 plus w squared, squared. I don't want to worry too much about simplifying this one right now. We're just working on derivative rules, but there's the derivative. It's important to realize what your inside and your outside function are, what's the overall structure. Again, both, both of these were chain rules for their initial structure. So I set up my derivative according to the chain rule, and then I kept track of um, what, I, what I still needed to take the derivative of.